Hey Leos, welcome to your reading for the person most on your mind. We have moved into Taurus season, so let's see how the energy is with you guys. We will set it up as past, present and future to look at the situation. If the past resonates with you, it's probably a good indication um, than what you can expect out of the others. Um, if it doesn't resonate, don't force it to fit. There's lots of lovely readers out there. Um, and maybe you need a personal reading, right? Okay, you can find information for personal readings in the description box, guys. Never in the comments. Okay, this will be the past here. Three of Wands, Queen of Cups, Three of Cups, and Eight of Cups, Six of Cups. So in the past there, this is the present. Two of Pentacles, Empress, Three of Pentacles, Knight of Swords, and the Chariot there. Okay, so let's see the future position for our lovely Leos. Emperor, Four of Cups, Justice, the Moon, and the Knight of Pentacles. Okay, so let's see. The past, Ten of Swords, Three of Swords, and the devil card right so in the past this is like really exciting to be with this person be together with them and then they've walked away desiring them to come back feeling like you met somebody special when you was longing to find somebody considered the one um you found them but they also left again here let's see what's going on three of wands so in the past it was the your, you felt like your ships came in, you'd met the right person. Six of Wands, um, this is somebody attracted to you and chasing you and making all the effort for you. So it's a bit strange, right, when they turn around and do this to you. Stab you in the back and break your heart. All because of this, right? So it definitely seems like although this person was showing you their passion, their excitement to be with you, chasing you, they doubled the effort, they took the time to make sure you knew that they was the one that they wanted, then turn around and betrayed you. They stabbed you in the back until you was no longer you. This is the minor arcana for the death card. So this is stabbing you in the back until you're no longer you. Broke your heart in so many pieces. You may even feel like you don't have a heart anymore after that in the past. Like they was led away by desire, temptation. Um, they could have made the relationship really toxic after being the one to push for the relationship. Like they want to be with you. They want to be with you. You was happy and, you know, living your best single life and they pushed to be with you. And then to betray you and break your heart due to desire. Um, it's very harsh here. Um, so it feels very cold, right? Where they've left it, where they left the situation in the past. No answers, just heartbreak, just backstabbing, betrayal, loneliness, cold. They ghosted and left you with the toxic energy. That's what it feels like here. Let's see. Two of Pentacles, Empress. Three of Pentacles, Knight of Swords, Chariot. So in the present here, it looks like they've had a change of mind. Yep, there you go. The Six of Swords, the Death card. Yep, Eight of Wands and the Nine of Cups. The one you gave away will be the only one you're wishing for. Always makes me think of that song when uh, somebody tries to come back. The one you gave away will be the only one you're wishing for. Um, so after destroying everything, they want it back. But how can it come back? I said this is the minor arcana for the death. Now we have the real death card. You're reborn. You've changed. You're in a much better place from the three of swords. You're now in the six of swords energy. So how could they possibly get back what they destroyed? It's their own hand, they work, right? But they didn't realize you were gonna come back bigger, better, stronger, faster. Um, <laughs> now can't you? That, that don't kill me can only make me stronger. <laughs> so you've been reborn here. You're like, nope. Unmin unlimited amount of cat lives going on. <laughs> 
Um, like I've been through so many changes, so many challenges, and I keep getting better and I keep getting stronger. And this is the energy that you should be taking on board at the moment. Very positive energy for you. Changes, a lot of things happening at once, um, but nothing you can't handle. Nine of Cups. The person most on your mind is just wishing for what they gave away. They're hoping to change the situation in present. So this is where we can see communication with the Eight of Wands. They're thinking positively anyway. So they really think they can walk back up in here. The sixes indicate balance. So they're ready to do whatever it takes as well, okay? Um, to convince you that you're the one that they want. What are they, a musical? Come on, stop it, you're the one that I want. <laughs> um, so two of pentacles, the empress, three of pentacles here. They want to say, look, I've decided that you're the one and I want to work with you. And you're going to say, well, what about your reckless actions? And they're going to say, well, I've changed. So then it'd be up to you. Do I tame the inner beast? Am I meant to be with this person? Your intuition will tell you, right? And if you do and you've healed with the star and they've healed with the star, there is an opportunity for destiny because the chariot always chases the star. <clears throat> so there's an opportunity now, now that that taming of the inner beast there has happened now action can happen as we move into the future so at first it starts with this conversation um that's going to happen here in the present it's a very positive conversation if you are somebody who's open to communicating with this person it's a very positive conversation with the six of swords um you both seem to be you seem to be in a good energy a good vibe and they seem to be in a positive state of mind so it really is good energy for this conversation we see the ace of swords when you have this conversation ace of swords six of wands queen of wands here and page of swords uh you're gonna see that there's challenges still in this relationship you're gonna see that they are still immature in the way they communicate so when they say i did not mean to do all this i just didn't know how to communicate it properly to you and i didn't know i could stand there and speak to you um, because even the best relationships in the world, if you can't communicate and you can't stand your ground, what happens is people run away, people ghost, they can't face you, um, but it doesn't solve the problem. So they wait and try to come back when the energy is better. So this is what we see happening here. They're still very much attracted to you though. They're still very much, you know, have you in sights, so they're spying on you. You still that very attractive person to them if not better uh probably you've glowed up um with this queen of wands energy but it's really feeling yourself here in the future looking fabulous looking gorgeous it's really changing up your style and it's because you've been through this death process right um you've been reborn so you might buy new clothes a new style new hairdo or something here um this person might bring you some jewelry Okay, some very big jewellery to try and soften the blow. But here I feel like it's your turn to stand your ground and say, hey, yeah, I am all of that that you said, but I need you to recognise that if we have a relationship, you need to be able to use that sword to communicate, not to cut me off and run away, or we end up in the same cycle. Um, so there is still challenges ahead but there is communication where you're able to get on the same page and put across what you want to say. Uh, the Emperor Four of Cups, the Justice card, the Moon. Okay, so if you're like, hey, I want to know what you did and things like that, I feel like that would, you know, slow their role. They don't really want to do it. They're going to be cautious in what they tell you. And it is because they don't want this to end. They don't want to lose you again, okay? Um, so they will tell you as much as they can without feeling scared because this moon is fear next to this knight of pentacles showing that they're overly cautious in what they're telling you so they might tell you things to a certain extent certain extent here because they want to try and get you back um they feel they'll tell you enough so what is fair but not too much that you leave them or don't want them back or don't show no interest in them. I feel like you probably don't see how much they love you. This is bored and discontentment with their conversation um, because you feel like 
they're still not telling you something, you know there's some secrets, but you may feel like they're not telling you to just be egotistical, but I feel it's more that they're trying to save the relationship and haven't learned how to communicate properly. If you can, try and get some counseling and learn how to speak to each other with respect and communicate. That's if you want to, because we do have the seven of wands where, you know, yes, I am fabulous and my guard is up. Do I want to go back into that? Because that would be scary to you, right? That's the moon for your energy. Like, I really fear going back where you left me because it was a terrible place. Um, but right now, in the present, we can see um, you moving forward. We can see you traveling, getting your manifestations, uh, the transformation, the changes happening in you right now. Um, it's a little bit scary for me to look at this and think that they really haven't changed much compared to you. Um, so that is something I would be careful of personally, but this was the person most on your mind, guys. Good luck.